because the notion of excellence has been used in an exclusionary way. In some people's minds, excellence and exclusion have become synonymous. But what you're saying is that we can acknowledge that the standards of excellence around knowledge have been used to exercise power and exclusion, but we can therefore refine or broaden the criteria of excellence without throwing it out entirely because the risk of throwing it out entirely is is to say that there's no way of judging what is good for the human mind. And that just sounds kind of strange. That's not really what we do. And I think with the example you gave a moment ago of Toni Morrison reminded me that when you showed me the curriculum, the core curriculum in philosophy and literature at Columbia, although it begins with you know Aristotle, Plato, and Socrates, it moves up into the present. And so there have been in the core curriculum, when people hear the core curriculum, they hear things like it's never changed or it's never adapted. But in fact, Toni Morrison can be on the core curriculum as an example of an excellent work of literature and therefore put next to these great books because it has the same criteria. And so showing students that newer works can match up to these criteria is a way of showing that their experience, regardless of what it is, can also rise to the level of excellence that they might find in Virgil or Augustine. And I think the woman that you talked about earlier in our conversation from Harlem, to let her know that yes, her mind is capable of achieving the excellence of these writers from 2000 years ago. I mean, that's that's incredibly energizing, I find, for students. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, there is no ultimate or final list of essential works. We are always um, tinkering. We're always discovering new things. Um, There are too many, right? And when we choose a set of works that we're going to organize a liberal education around, it's always a provisional set of works. It's always a tentative, a version. And we should, and Colombia does, Um, always be rethinking what are the books that are most effective in uh, conveying the kind of human cultivation, the kind in in promoting the kind of human cultivation that we are after. Mm -hmm. Let me give you an example, um, a historical example. Coming out of the American Civil War and the abolition of slavery in the late 19th century, there's a great uh, kind of foundational debate between the two most prominent leaders in the African-American community, um, W.E.B. Du Bois, a kind of classically trained intellectual, um, and uh, Booker T. Washington, a, a, a figure who himself was born into slavery and has an extraordinary uh, personal story of overcoming adversity and uh, an achievement, just an, a remarkable figure. Um, They have a a very famous debate because Booker T. Washington thinks that coming out of slavery, the the free African-American population ought to focus on practical education, on economic self-sufficiency, on developing, uh, even if segregated, but autonomous zones of empowerment, Um, even if that means accepting a second-class citizenship. W.B. Du Bois is entirely against that notion. W.B. Du Bois says, no, we need the highest kinds of education, uh, not just practical education, but also liberal education for our uh, youth coming out of the African-American community. We must insist on our human equality. And our human equality means that that tradition of learning, that tradition of liberal education, that liberatory tradition also belongs to us. He says famously, I sit with Shakespeare and he winces not. That is, Du Bois finds that Shakespeare is as much his own as it is of the white classmates he has at Harvard or the, or the, or, or the uh, white German colleagues that he had when he was studying in German. There is for Du Bois a universality about the tradition of um, intellectual classical learning that empowers 
the liberatory project of civil rights and uh, citizenship equality in the United States, right? So that's an example there where Du Bois adopts and um, wow. deploys a tradition that has been has excluded him and his people to uh, as the tools for liberation. 